Hey guys, welcome to this lab. Now, in this lab, uh, I'm gonna try to exploit a simple buffer overflow. Uh, first of all, going to nanotest.c. I'm going to have a simple, very simple, uh, vulnerable program here. Include uh, Okay, string dot h. You can have your own uh, program. And uh, there is no need to use uh, this example. If you want, you can change it or use other similar program. Okay. ARGB. Okay, and uh, chair buffer two fifty six, and here we are. Okay. RGB one print F. Okay, we're almost there. And something to print a mess like a message here. I think in buffer and it's almost done. Okay, very simple. Uh, as you can see here, I'm going to save it. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have RGV that we can it would cop copy anything into buffer uh, as much as we can, but according to our scenario, and the. Uh, in the next line, the program prints uh, everything in that. And now I'm going to uh, compile it using GCC stack protector. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Stack test.c minus o test. Okay. Uh, ouch. Uh, I think I missed minus ah, okay dash here and minus m32 to emphasize this um, 32 bar uh, sorry, 32 bit operating system uh, okay oh no no okay and okay we can even remove it okay now we have uh, or compiled program here and, um, I, I want to uh, try again because I'm not sure about it okay now we have a clear one and uh, uh -huh. okay let's uh, define test. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, uh, we have test. I intended to define the exact name in this scenario. Okay, so we can go into next step after clearing the screen and using uh, GDB PEDA. So now I'm going to disassemble. Okay, this S O main. Okay, here's the dump of assembly code for main function. So you can see uh, all information here, and now we must 
uh, set our breakpoints and here we have calls here on CPY and puts right there and now I'm going to set a breakpoint before uh, puts here and the next one would be run a Python script. In this scenario, I'm going to use Python script inside uh, GDB PEDA. Okay, I'm going to uh, have 256 A's. Okay. So we have, uh, you can see many A's uh, here, 41, 41, 41, and uh, okay, so let's see what we have here right now. Okay, so okay, as I continue, we see uh, program exited normally, and right now we face with such a warning point that the program is not run. You can see here again the program exited normally. It's down there. Uh, I think you can see our. And uh, anyway, we have a bunch of A's here and the uh, related address uh, are there. And now I'm going to. Have a deep look inside the this address. Okay, so let's uh, try it again. Very different uh, address. Okay. So we are in uh, the first breakpoint right here, and uh, now I'm going to use one hundred to see what we have here. Okay, and okay, sixteen, seventeen. You can see all information here. However, uh, uh, we're still looking for interesting data. Okay, one hundred eighty. 19 okay so we we've got uh, 41 41 41 and the starting address uh, pointed there and I selected highlighted it and uh, so We can see many 41 here, which point to uh, A that we created before.
now let's try it again and <laughs> close it and here we are I'm going to run it again uh, so actually I'm going to run uh, Python scripts again with uh, uh, new parameters okay now increasing 216 A's okay as you can see here again we faced with uh, exited normally which means the no interesting <laughs> uh, action uh, happened here and the program exited normally so let's try 264 and we've got an error here a segmentation fault occurred right there and now I'm going to have 262 and again exited normally so I decrease the number and here we are 41, 41, 41 and segmentation fault and uh, we've got it so now let's try 72 and we got something uh, different from last result however uh, we faced uh, again with segmentation fault and we faced with an error here so now uh, okay so now let's uh, try different number again plus our magic piece <laughs> okay because we found something interesting on 268 now we've got a segmentation fault and faced with an error here okay let's change it to 65 and here we go we've got an error and we we'll figure out about uh, the exact addresses and the uh, reason of uh, the buffer overflow inside the program okay so uh, now I'm gonna use my shellcode hex here it's for six by shellcode here as you can see now we are going to use and uh, according to our last scenario the buffer start at 268 and now we are going to uh, abuse it uh, by, uh, uh, actually pushing our uh, shellcut inside the, my Python script here. Okay, now 
I'm going to use my Python script here and the last number uh, that you can find uh, in functions inside the program now I'm going to uh, manually change it here okay so I'm gonna use uh, 222 and uh, using my shellcode here paste it here okay so I think it's okay and now I'm gonna uh -huh. and this is the uh, the address number retrieved from our operation and this is the exact order uh, to push inside the memory and you can see here that the shell code we have here binary being the slash sh here and uh, actually we use our shell code to execute 